The war on Tigray has devastated infrastructures essential for ordinary Tigrayans, including a blockade on banking and telecommunication. Equally concerning has been the lack of access to clean water. The power blackout coupled with the blockade on fuel has meant that the water supply system across the state have not been functional for much of the past years, and the urban residents are forced to walk miles to find disease-prone wells in the outskirts of the city. We spoke to some residents of the city of Ma'ala that tell us they're traveling miles to find water that they know is likely to cause illnesses to them and their family members. We travel for well over an hour for water. Water is short in supply here, and the water we're getting here isn't clean. It causes illnesses. Before the start of the war, when the water supply systems aren't working, government used to deliver water in tanks to each household. But now, people have no access to water supplies and are contracting many illnesses because of it. The water we get here is really dirty. The well is really deep and the water is found 9 meters down. Pulling it out from the well is killing our backs, but we don't have a choice. We're drinking it knowing it will give us illness. The deputy head for the Bureau of Water Supply Drainage System in the city of Ma'ala, Burhanu Gabramaskal, says that the lack of water supply owes to the discontinuation of vital services, including the power blackout and lack of fuel. The head also emphasized that water treatment chemicals have been blocked from reaching Tigrats. <laughs> We don't have water purifying chemicals like ammonia sulfate and chlorine. These have to be shipped from abroad. We also don't have fuel, so we can travel long distance to make repairs when the water system is damaged. Burhanu also says that during their brief presence in Tigray, Eritrean and Ethiopian troops took part in the systematic destruction of water facilities and infrastructures, much of which has not yet been repaired, due to shortage in equipment caused by the ongoing siege. There has been a lot of destruction on water system. Some are either partially or wholly damaged. The Garavgaba project was designed to resolve the city's water shortage problem. Even that has been partially destroyed. The residents added that to try and mitigate the problems caused by the water, they are boiling the water before drinking, but say the humanitarian response in Tigray should include supplies for repairing water facilities and means for residents to treat water that is available. There is lack of access to clean water, so we have to boil it before we can use it. We have to try and keep our health ourselves. We have to boil the water we use. And I think all the NGOs should help providing water supply or water purifying chemicals. We travel for over an hour to get water. There are mothers who carry water with their children on their backs. The systematic destruction to basic services, the ongoing siege, added to the electricity blackout and lack of fuel, has left Tigray devoid of the basic services essential to ensuring its people can lead a healthy life.